What's up guys? Today I'll be showing you how to make this uh, this six equipment, I mean lab equipment, okay? First one is going to be very easy. This one is the, what do you call this? Test tube, I believe. I don't know what, I forgot what they recall. I don't know what this one is. I know this one is a beaker. Uh, yeah, I'm going to show you that, okay? So I'm going to hide, oh, I'm going to hide this. Hedge to hide. Okay, by selecting them all. I'm going to show you how to make this one. This one first, okay? How, so, how to make this? Easy. Just go to here. You can use the circle, but actually, if you want to be... It's a good idea. If you want to be fast, just use a UV sphere. Because it's just very easy using a UV sphere. Okay, so, I'm going to go to edit mode. Press tab. If you're on the desktop, you can press 1, 2, 3. To select word select edge select and face select okay? you can see over here it's changing when i press one two three so i'm gonna go to face select for now i'm gonna turn this wireframe on i mean is it yes it's a wireframe okay so i'm gonna enable this one as well the x-ray i can select the hole from the back so i'm gonna go to here just select over there hold and select and go to and press delete press delete only faces okay not the vertices just the faces because we want the face only okay and you got something like that that's going to be the bottom easy right and go to edge select select this edge press e and there you go see very easy right that's that's uh what do you call that's a test tube over there very easy and simple to make you can add a solidify, add some solidify, make them rounder, subdivision surface. It's up to you. Okay. Okay, next gonna be, I'm gonna delete this because I don't need it anymore. Next, I think it's going this one. Oh, no, not that one. Nope, nope. Ah, this one. Here it is. What do you call this? I forgot what it's called. Maybe a potion or something. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to model this, okay? Again, this is very easy. Let me grab that over there. Um, I also use a, a circle, okay? Okay, I'm going to shift A to add a circle. There we go. Not the circle, the UV sphere. Okay, I'm sorry. There we are. Scale it. Something the size that you want. It's up to you. Okay quite the same but maybe it's not but it's quite the same okay so i'm going to, go to edit mode this one again same technique like i did before press 3 tab press 3 to face select and enable this one the x-ray and the wireframe okay i'm gonna go to here here we are and delete the face go to edge select press 2 or you can just press here press e to extrude to the z if you want it to be more precise, use this one, okay? The snapping tool here. Oh, I can see that my is not quite the same, so I'm going to undo that. Select this one only. Zoom that over there. Okay. Press delete, face. There we are. Go to edit select, let me zoom, and over there. Press E to extrude. There, now you've got something quite the same as this one. Okay, go to here, and there it is, guys. Look at that. Very easy, right? If you want to make this bigger, then you can make it bigger and make this one smaller, too. Okay. Now, the next, I'm going to delete this one now. I'm going to show you the next one, not that one. That's going to be the last. Is it that one? Oh, ah, this one, I believe. Or this one. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah, this one, this one. This one, the bigger. But let's do this one first, okay? So I'm going to hide this one. Press H to hide. Okay, so these are actually the same, but the bottom is flat. So you saw that before, right? How I make this? It's quite easy. Still the same. Uh, sphere, extrude this one, and just go to press B, not B. Just go to like this. Select over there, the bottom. I mean, oh, let's go to edit mode. 
let's go to select the bottom like that again this one select the bottom just go like that press delete delete the face and just go to here oh that one the bottom make sure you add select make sure you hold alt okay if you want to select it like this okay if you're not if you don't you just actually selecting one so it's better to hold or the alt button okay select that one and press f to fill see there it is that's how to make oh, turn that off press one for a view there it is guys very easy right okay now i'm gonna delete this one let's see what's next we're gonna make nope ah this one ah this one i know this is the beaker okay so go we got wrap the dx press one so how to model this actually it's very easy I select this one this is how i made it i just had a i think i'm gonna i using the cylinder and just add a loop cut on it yeah that's how i do it okay so i'm going to show you how to make that shift a to add a cylinder or you can use a circle too as well depends on you i, I made this using a cylinder Grab that, scale shift set okay to scale like that if you just press s it's gonna go like big like, okay so press s shift and z and you got something like that okay now i'm gonna bring it up a little bit something over there go to edit mode face select by pressing three select the face at the top press one grab that to the z if you want it to be more precise again enable this one okay and you got something like this see if i zoom it moves like that okay there we are so i'm gonna turn that off the face over there i'm gonna delete because that's what we're not gonna need that one so how to make this one that's very easy shift a i mean shift r add a loop cut okay now move it around go over there wherever you want and go to the bottom that's up to you go to here okay now select press i'm gonna press seven now actually i'm not pressing seven you don't have to uh, go to precise to the side here actually you can just go anywhere okay because you can rotate this so i'm gonna go to this one the vert select press one or you can just press here go to here press g to the x i believe to the y to the y would do let me see press seven okay that's bad i'm gonna go to here okay now you can press g to the y just a little bit no need to go too much okay and you got something like that very easy right so actually this one is i i use a little bit curved there because i am i want to make it a little bit round so to make it round i mean even rounder this one and this one you don't have to use a mirror i mean mirror tool you don't have to g to the y see now it's quite got some curve there looks like quite round right so that's how to model the beaker okay very easy now you try okay now i'm gonna delete this too press delete now for the next i believe is this one ah here we are so how to model this one actually this is very easy i actually use the circle for this you can use a cube as well. i mean you can use a what do you call it cylinder as well it's still fine but i model this i use a, a circle okay so i add the circle over there press one i'm gonna go to edit mode make sure vertex or so you go to here it's up to you zoom scale scale it a bit bigger press e to extrude to the z and I'm going to scale that one. And I press E again to the Z. And we got something like that. Okay. Now note there's something different here. You can see it over there. You got some over there. Note that this, this what do you call this? Conical flask, I believe. Maybe not. It actually has something over there. So I'm going to press 1 for the front view. Go to edit mode again. For this one, 
I hold Alt and select there. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna press E to extrude to the Z to the bottom. And press F to fill. And you get something like that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Very easy, right? This is a low poly, and it's very easy. If you want to add them, add them subdivisions on it, you gotta need a uh, few uh, supporting loops, such as loop cuts. Maybe some knife as well. If you go to K, you can cut this like that. Okay. So, very easy, right? Now let's delete. The last part is this one. I forgot what this thing is called. Okay. So, how to model this one? Same as before, like we did about the, the, the sphere. And go over there. And this one. Add some more loop cuts on it. Okay, so let's let's make that. Grab it over there. Shift A to add a, a UV sphere. Scale it. No need to scale shift set like that. If you go to scale shift set, it goes something like that. Okay, so just scale scale it. Go it over there. Okay, maybe I scale it a little bit right over there. Okay, now let's go to here. Oh, turn on this on. X-ray and this one. Press three to face select. Got something like there. And if you just select over there, okay. Delete face. There we go. Go to eight select now. Hold Alt and select and press E to extrude to the Z. Okay. How long you want? That's up to you. Okay. So how to make this one? Actually, I make to make that I use add a loop cut Go over there. Up. There we are. Add a loop cut. Something over there. And control B. To do something like that. Okay. And now let's go to this one now. You up. Press one again. Okay. Now go to here. You can press three to go side view. Turn this off. Up to you. And go to this one. This press three to face select. Go to select those three, I believe. I think I select those three. I'm gonna press one. Press E to extrude. I would. I think it's too big. So I'm gonna undo all. Make a new one. This one. Just yes, if you want to delete this one. Oh, this one. This and this. Hold that one. Control X and you and it, it's deleted. Okay, it's dissolved. Okay, so add a new one. Oh, uh, Control R to add a loop cut over there. I'm gonna make it smaller now. There's something like that. No need to be because of big. Press three for the side view. Right, orthographic actually. That's the name over there. Press three. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna press E to the X. Okay, no need to be that long. If you want it long, that's up to you. Grab that to the Z. Press G and Z. Okay. If you want to rotate, then rotate, but I'm not gonna rotate it. So I just delete that face. Okay. Now let's make it rounder. To make it rounder, Add few more cuts, okay? Control R to add the cuts. There we are. And this one, add add one more over there. If you want, if you have reference image, it's way better, okay? So how did I do that? I add some reference image on it. It's very good, okay? So let me see how do I do that. Mm hmm. Something like that. All right. <laughs> Enough of the reference image. So this one, I'm gonna let's go to here. Press seven. If you use a mirror, mirror is actually good. G to the Y. Just a little bit. Okay, let me see. Okay, it doesn't affect much. And this one as well. Press seven. G to the Y. Okay, 
now it looks quite rounder, I believe. And this one, uh, G to the Y, G, not to the Y, to the Z, because this is the Z. Okay, now that's quite round. And this one, G to the Z, below. Now that's round. So that's how I make it, okay? Press 1. Yeah, look at that, guys, look at that. That's how to make, oh, I don't know what it's called. I completely forgot about this, what it called. If you know, comment in the section below. All the item that I made, I mean, we're gonna made. So I'm gonna remember it next time, okay? So that's how to model all those three, okay? I mean, all those six stuff over there. And yeah, I'm not gonna show any shading stuff. I'm just gonna show you how to model the shape, okay? So that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on the next tutorial. Okay, now, bye now.